Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Drew Dober versus Ricky Glenn. Drew Dober, 26 wins, 12 losses, 3-2 and two in his last five fights. 34, he'll be 35 in about a little over a month. 5-8 with a 70-inch reach. Fighting Ricky Glenn, who's 22 wins, 7 losses, 2 draw. He's 2-2-1 two, two in, in his last five fights. Lost his last fight against Christos Yagos by TK or by TKOKO, whatever. Uh, maybe an early stoppage, but you can't really fall down like he did. We've seen it a thousand times where fighters recover, and maybe he would have. But again, you can't really fall down like that and expect the referee not to at least look in it and step into it. Some referees will, some referees won't. 34 years old, six foot tall with a 70, 70 and a half inch reach, half inch reach advantage for Ricky Glenn. What four inch height advantage also for Ricky Glenn? Again, I like Drew Dober's patience. Patience in this fight, I like his combinations, his speed, his power. I, I think Ricky Glenn's gonna have a really hard time taking him down. I don't think he's gonna fight him at distance. I think that'll be hard for Ricky Glenn to do. I do think he's a dog, and if he can get Drew Dober down, then it becomes a completely different fight where Ricky Glenn has a lot of experience um, being big brother to fighters at some points. But I think Dober's speed, his power, his combination, his ability to use movements in and out is going to help him a lot. And coming off of a TKO loss like Ricky Glenn did in his first time ever, I think he's still going to be a little bit punchy. Four months ago, it'll be about five months by that time. I don't think that's enough time to recover from something like that. Even though he wasn't out cold, I still don't like the way he dropped. and I don't think five months is enough time to recover. I like Drew Dober in this one. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. You know what it is. Peace.